Hello and welcome to Nerd News Today's SDCC 2021 coverage. We've got a lot of news coming in this weekend. But first, real big things coming up from Diamond Select. And here to tell us all about that is their marketing supervisor, Mr. Zach Oat. Zach, how's it going today? It's going good. Great to see you, sir. It's good to see you again. You know, we saw you guys at Toy Fair, or at least at the Nerd News Today Toy Fair 2021. If you guys haven't watched those videos yet, go ahead and make sure you do that. Uh, but yeah, SDCC again, virtual this year. But we will be seeing you guys in person at New York Comic Con, right? Is that going to be like your first in-person event since the pandemic began? I believe so, yes. Uh, we're going to be doing you know, Comic Con at home and then San Diego Comic Con at home. And then um, New York, I think we're going to be setting up a booth. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. You absolutely will. I plan on being there for sure. But for now, we're here talking about San Diego Comic Con, which is all virtual this year. And uh, as I mentioned, we got a lot to unpack. So uh, I guess let's just jump right on in and talk about things that we already know were out. And that's some of the SDCC exclusives you guys are selling. So uh, can you run us down the big list of what you guys have this year? Sure. It's a pretty big list. Um, there's the uh, Cobra Kai box set, uh, which is a three pack in awesome deluxe fold out dojo packaging. Um, there's the uh, Retrotron um, box set, which is three carded action figures made to look like the old action figures from the 1982, um, but seven inches tall. Gosh, we've got the Lord of the Rings uh, Journey to Mordor, I think we're calling it, box set, where it's um, Twilight Frodo, where you can see through him, and um, Gollum uh, with two heads, and uh, he, they come with his boat, too, uh, which I don't know if it actually appeared in uh, Fellowship of the Ring, but it... Um, I think it's a it's a throwback to the Hobbit, but uh, but it's still a very cool piece. Mini Mates, we're going to do a Mini Mates uh, box set of the six original Avengers from uh, from the original Avengers movie. Uh, we're going to do a Mini Mates box set of six different Nightmare Before Christmas characters. Um, these are those are both going to be in cool hexagonal packaging where that you can look at them in the round, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, we're doing a Nightmare Before Christmas action figure box set, which is Jack Skellington and two of his toy building tables, um, and also the hanging tree, uh, which is a figure that a lot of people haven't been able to get because um, it's sold out. So we're re reissuing him uh, so that people can have a second chance of getting the hanging tree. And then we've got a Star Wars bust, which is the Mandalorian in a complete, it's a half scale bust, so it's about 10 inches tall, and it's uh, completely translucent with a light up feature, so it looks like a hologram, um, which is very cool. Uh, and then we've got a Muppets two pack of Bunsen and Beaker, um, but uh, Lab Axe and Bunsen and Beaker. So they're all smoky and uh, look like they've been caught in a, in a fire of some kind. Uh, I think that is all of them. There's so many to keep track of. Um, but oh, and the crow. We have one crow box set where it's him in the chair, uh, which is very cool. It's the chair from that promotional poster where it's him with his hands folded in the chair. So we're giving him the chair and he comes with a crow too. Um, but it's a nice window box uh, with like the windows on the side that actually look like the windows from his apartment and stuff like that. So uh, I think now I think that is all. Yeah, that is a lot of stuff. I couldn't even remember any of that off the top of my head. So kudos to you for managing <laughs> to pull that one off. <laughs> Thank uh, you. I got to ask also just a quick follow up to some of those things that you mentioned. So the Gollum that's going to be part of this SDCC two pack, uh, are both those heads going to be available in future releases or is one of those like an exclusive just for this event? Uh, not I don't believe either head is exclusive for the event. The boat is exclusive for the event and Frodo is exclusive for the event. Uh, there will be uh, a deluxe release of Gollum later on, which will have um, an, an extra head in addition to those heads, as well as some extra accessories. Um, but uh, this is the only place to get the boat and Frodo. And another really cool thing you mentioned was that Mandalorian bus that's going to have a light up feature. And that's something in our reviews we've discussed, like with a lot of the uh, transparent bases, how much we would have loved to have lights and really kind of illuminate the bases, make them really pop. Uh, is this going to be something that Diamond does more frequently in the future now, adding light-up bases? It's something we can do for the more high-end uh, busts and statues that we make. Unfortunately, we use a lot of translucent in our gallery dioramas, and we aren't able to, I mean, without affecting the price, um, I'm not even sure how it would work with the materials, the PVC, but uh, with the price of $50 that we aim for, it's not really something we can make feasible there. But for something like the Mandalorian half scale, we're able to make it translucent and light up and without really much changing the price too much. And uh, same with, uh, we did it for a Darth Maul hologram bus and not too long ago, um, based on his appearance in Solo. And we did a hologram version since he does appear as a hologram in that, in that scene. Um, so we did a variant on that, which also lit up. I'm sure we'll have plenty of other opportunities for holograms in the future. I don't know if we'll do anything with like light up bases. It's not something we've played around with a lot in our Marvel statues or, or even our 
uh, other licenses. Um, but I'm sure as it as it as it becomes as it is uh, appropriate, we'll we'll figure out ways to incorporate. So, all right, so let's kind of run through what some of the brands are that uh, Diamond has right now, some of the different licenses that you guys have. Let's see what's new, what's going to be announced this year. And I think we got to kick things off with Star Wars because uh, you guys have been doing some great work. Gentle Giant as well have been doing some really spectacular work with Star Wars. So uh, what's going to be new for Star Wars that's going to be announced at SDCC? Uh, we are releasing a couple of uh, San Diego exclusives that we haven't announced yet. One is um, a concept Darth Maul 1-6 scale bust. Uh, it's our first time doing a concept bus that isn't based on, I believe, Ralph McQuarrie artwork. Although I think um, technically our Boba Fett concept was based on Ralph McQuarrie and one other. We also have a um, jumbo Boba Fett action figure that we're going to be offering, uh, which is um, a gl new glossy paint scheme, new anniversary card back for, I believe, Return of the Jedi. And, um, and you know, it's a jumbo, so it's 12 inches tall. And I believe that one also has the launching rocket and the backpack and also his blaster. So um, those are the two Star Wars pieces that we haven't announced yet until um, until just now uh, uh, or, or yesterday. And um, that uh, those will be available for pre-order now, I believe, and then they'll uh, come out uh, later on this year. Can we expect to see any more Star Wars action figures this year? Uh, yes, I believe we are looking to get at least two more out this year. Um, we're going back and forth on some development. We may also reissue some of the ones that are um, that one of the uh, uh, some that were still uh, in high demand. Um, but I'm not allowed to announce what they are now. We're not showing them at the show. But um, as soon as Disney has them and is ready to offer them for pre order or for ordering or pre order, then we'll definitely put out an announcement so everybody will will be able to get see what they look like. And will those new Star Wars figures be available only on Disney Store's website, or are they going to be mass release? That I do not know. I know that some of the stores have closed. I don't know what their plans are for all of the stores, but um, uh, I know that they will definitely be available online like the last ones. Uh, fingers crossed there'll still be some stores open, and, and they'll be in there as well. Yeah, hope so, hope so. Uh, so Marvel's another big one that you guys have, and you guys, I know, have a bunch of new things for SDCC. So tell us what's coming down the pipe from Marvel. We're going to uh, continue our line of Marvel Gallery dioramas. Um, uh, we've been doing a, a, a series of them that are based in battle scenes, um, you know, with a lot of rubble. Um, so we've got a couple more of those in the works. The Marvel Select line will continue. Um, we've been talking about what's going to be coming up. Uh, there's at least uh, one or two more figures for this year that we have not shown yet. Uh, I don't think we're going to have them here at San Diego, but um, we will... Uh, we will definitely be announcing those, I think, in the next couple of months. Marvel Mini Mates, uh, we just solicited Series 81, uh, which is all about the, the Dark Phoenix saga. And Series 82 will be the Fantastic Four. Uh, I'm not sure of the timeline on that. <clears throat> we just put out Series 80, so I'm not sure when Series 81 will hit. But once it does, um, we'll get the solicitation out for 82. Um, and we're also looking into doing some, um, some more exclusive stuff on our website. Um, which uh, only recently started recently doing, recently doing pre-orders on the Mar on the DST DiamondSelectToys.com website. So that's that's um, that's an all-new website that we're doing a lot, trying to do a lot more with than we did with the old site. For Marvel Premiere, we are continuing with more Marvel Marvel statues, um, and for Marvel um, Legends in Three Dimensions, we're going to continue with uh, Green Goblin. And then we've got more in the works for that. Um, it's a line's doing very well. The half scale bus is about 10 inches tall. Uh, and um, yeah, I think that's everything for Marvel uh, bus statues. Oh, the animated style bus will continue. We just listed Dr. Octopus from the Spider-Man uh, animated series. Um, we've got some more X-Men animated series bus coming up. A lot of people have been asking where they're going to be, uh, when they're going to show up. And we've got a lot of characters coming out, uh, including uh, a couple of exclusives that should still be uh, uh, easy to get a hold of um, and uh, hopefully people dig them and they'll be they, they'll be excited that we're going to get to these characters that they've been asking for. Yeah, I'm very much into those animated series minibus. Those are really, really cool pieces. Uh, but I got to follow up also about Marvel Select figures. Uh, so I know that the Silver Centurion, I believe, is supposed to be coming out fairly soon. Uh, the Immortal Hulk has been like one of the hottest toys. I'm sad I missed out on that one. That thing is a beauty. Uh, the Taskmaster... Yeah, I, I missed out on it myself. I don't even have one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we looked at the Taskmaster. That was like a, a stunning figure. Like that one was actually, that kind of blew me away. Uh, are there any news for any additional Marvel selects coming out this year? Anything else that's maybe going to be restocked this year? Yes, uh, we're going to restock um, the Immortal Hulk. Um, once called the Rampaging Hulk, now he's called the Immortal Hulk. And we're going to restock uh, the Watcher, who hasn't been out for over a decade. 
Um, it's been a long time since he was he was offered, uh, and we're gonna restock um, Venom, who is sells out every time we put more Venoms out. So those three are gonna be coming back. Um, we do have another character in the works, um, which we have not uh, solicited yet, um, and we're brainstorming new characters going forward. Um, and I don't know if we have any more Disney exclusives planned for this year um, for a select uh, Disney store. Um, I believe there will be a Disney store gallery, which we haven't announced yet, but um, I think for this year, we've done all the, uh, we've done most of the Marvel selects. There might be some later on in the year that we haven't gotten to yet, but, um, but uh, when, as soon as they're ready to announce, we will. I want to throw a note out there for anybody who's interested in the Marvel select figures. We just looked at, as I mentioned, the Taskmaster fairly recently, and I noticed that some of the articulation changed, and in my opinion, uh, it definitely got better. So for folks who are especially loose collectors who want to do figure photography, I mean, I think you guys are still doing that excellent diamond sculpting, but now you've really upped the articulation. So, uh, you know, thanks for doing that. It's really awesome. Oh, yeah, no problem. We, um, you know, we're always looking to find the right balance between, you know, the detailed sculpting uh, that, that people expect from Marvel Select and the ex articulation that people want, you know, that they see in other lines. So, um, you know, it's a it's a tricky balance, but um, but I think the, the team's been finding better ways to incorporate articulation without without affecting the look now also earlier in the year you guys had your very first piece in a walmart store you guys had a deadpool statue i think it was a pvc statue in walmart's uh is that deal with walmart going to be continuing can will there be new merchandise available in walmart stores this year uh yes yes we're working on some stuff with uh walmart uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to announce what exactly it's going to be, but we are going to do more action figures for them. Not necessarily exclusive action figures, but um, but some uh, new packaging options for action figures that maybe people weren't able to get the first time. Um, and then um, uh, I believe we just put uh, the Spider-Man animated style, animated series mini bust in Walmart. And I want to say that they're going to be doing... Um, that they're going to be doing the spider sense one as well. Um, but we'll have to see how that goes. Um, so, uh, look for those guys, look for, look for that bus there in the stores. Now, if you weren't able to get it elsewhere and, um, and yeah, the, look for more cool stuff at Walmart is we're definitely gonna be doing a lot more with them. And on the topic of superheroes also diamond was known for all their DC stuff. And it looks like that's kind of dried up. Uh, is diamond currently not producing any more DC stuff? We do not currently have any DC products um, in manufacturing right now, but we are hoping to uh, revise that in the near future. So hopefully in the future, you'll be able to see more DC products from us. But currently we are we are not producing anything at the moment. Okay, so that kind of clears things up for folks who are curious. Because back in Toy Fair, we had a lot of questions about the DC stuff. So, uh, you know, it is still available out there if you want to buy it. Just at the time, there's going to be nothing new. So, all right. Uh, but hey, something else you guys are doing that's really awesome has been the Muppets, and you guys did a whole re-release of some of those figures, which are, again, really great, too. We reviewed those on the channel. Love the Muppets. Uh, what's new for SDCC for the Muppets and going forward? This Friday, uh, pre-orders are going to open for Sam the Eagle and Rizzo the Rat, uh, which were the last figures in Series, uh, I believe, Series 4 that we were not able to produce. Um, so look for them uh, to go for pre-orders starting this week. And um, it's he's going to come with some cool stuff. He's going to come with uh, his podium. He's going to come with a phonograph. He's going to come with a uh, vote for Sam poster. Um, and it's uh, it's a very it's a really great looking figure. I'm a big fan of Sam the Eagle and Rizzo, so I'm excited to get it. I'm a big Muppet uh, Christmas Carol fan, and Rizzo is very funny in that one. It's definitely we're we're always trying to get more Muppets out there, and um, these were Muppets that people have been asking for ever since we showed them. Um, but after we were able to get out Swedish Chef, and um, uh, Dr. Teeth and Zoot, uh, who's now going to be available in a two-pack now, um, then we're, uh, we're going to be offering Sam the Eagle and Rizzo, which is, I'm very excited about it. Big Muppets fan. Yeah, and those Muppets toys are really, really great. Uh, again, I was just super surprised when I got those, how awesome they were, and I especially love Swedish Chef and all of his accessories. <laughs> those are great yeah. for, like, anybody who's, who's taking wrestling figure photography, by the way, get that Swedish <laughs> Chef. You'll have a real good hardcore place, that thing going on. Uh, Excellent. So Let's talk Avatar, because Avatar is a big one for me. We love what you guys are doing with Avatar, with the PVC statues, with the figures. Uh, what can you tell us about what's coming up next for Avatar? We are working on Series 5. Uh, we're very close to having it uh, solicited. We're just waiting for some approvals to come through on one of the figures. Um, but uh, it's going to have one new character and one uh, new version of an existing character. Um, series 4, I think, is hitting uh, very soon. I think it's uh, just showed up on our web store. Um, but it's going to be getting out to retailers, I think, and as soon as we get the main shipment from China. Uh, there have been some delays at the ports, so it's slowed some shipments to us. 
um, but we're hopefully going to have those at the retailers pretty soon. And that's um, Final Battle Ang and uh, Sokka. So the, those two, it's, it's our first Sokka, and it's um, it's a uh, the a really cool version of Ang that we haven't done before. So um, those will keep coming. Uh, series five uh, will be coming soon. The PVC dioramas. Uh, I think we just got in some of the um, Ang and Katara back into our web store after they were sold out. Um, and Zuko will be next. And I believe we are working on a fourth one for Toph. Is there any possibility of Avatar Minimates? I don't believe that's something that we are doing right now. Um, but if Avatar continues to do well for us, I don't see why that wouldn't be something we would consider. I'm not 100% sure it's part of our license, but um, I love Minimates, so I'd, be, I'd love to see uh, Minimates for everything we do. Uh, but uh, definitely Avatar. Avatar is tricky because it's um, it's not really an anime property, but it's, um, it's, it's pretty realistic as far as anime properties go. But we haven't had a lot of interaction with anime properties and um, well, animation properties and mini mates. Uh, very often, the style doesn't always quite match up. But I can see that being, uh, you know, for a more realistically animated show like that, I could see that being a very cool line. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. No telling what the future holds. Hopefully, the action figure line goes for for a long time. I mean, it seems like Avatar right now is having a real big renaissance with being on Netflix. Going to be headed to Paramount Plus exclusively very soon as well. Uh, and at the mm -hmm. same time, too, you know, you guys are doing your figures. And now the loyal subjects are doing their figures. And then just recently, McFarlane Toys announced that they're doing their Avatar figures in two different sizes, two different price points. So this is kind of a rare thing. I feel like there hasn't been too many times where there's been like three companies simultaneously doing the same figure. But it appears to be something that's more common these days. So uh, you know, I just wonder if you have any thoughts on basically just how is this even possible and your thoughts on the competition producing figures at the exact same time that you guys are. Uh, I'm not privy to uh, all of our licensing details and our contracts and things like that, and we try not to share that too much when we, when I am. But it's uh, you know it's um, we we appreciate a little competition. We're uh, you know we're pretty uh, proud of what we put out so far, and I think uh, people like what we're going to put out in the future. So uh, hopefully uh, our seven inch line continues for a while. We've been um, you know we try to make them as articulated as possible. We try to um, make them look as much like the characters as possible. I think we're really nailing it in terms of likenesses. Um, and uh, I don't know, hopefully the fans dig it and, uh, and, and keep uh, stick with the horse that brought them, uh, if that's an expression, which I don't think it is. It is now, Zach Goat trademark, officially. <laughs> so we talked about Muppets, uh, we talked a little about Marvel stuff, which is technically under the Disney umbrella, but for the real proper Disney umbrella, uh, what else is coming down the line? Uh, the next series of Nightmare Before Christmas figures hits very soon. Uh, that's series 10. Uh, it's got the Corpse Mom, Corpse Dad, um, Mr. Hyde, and um, Mrs. Claus. Uh, I think Mrs. Claus and the Corpse family have not been done uh, before. So I believe that this is the first time they've been made. We also have the Creature Under the Stairs box uh, two pack coming out with him and Cyclops, um, which is not part of series 10, it's gonna be a separate release. But uh, those figures should be arriving um, late summer. Uh, again, uh, there's been some slowdowns at the ports, but hopefully uh, they're still on their way. For Tron, we have another box set that's different from the San Diego set, which is our arcade box set. It has the, um, the three characters in their standard looks, not translucent. Um, and it's a arcade con cabinet that actually lights up with a black light. And all the figures are going to be black light reactive. Um, so that's uh, a very cool piece that we're going to be coming out with for Disney. We've talked about doing some more for Black Hole, but we'll see how that goes. Um, the Black Hole, we recently put out more of the Black Hole um, Vincent and Old Bob uh, two-pack, which uh, sold out very quickly when it first came out. So hopefully people can get a hold of it now. If they can't get it through their local store, they can check out our website. I don't think we have anything new happening for Pirates of the Caribbean right now. Yeah, we definitely uh, are always looking at new Disney stuff to do. So um, I'm sure there's something I'm absolutely 100% forgetting, but uh, it, it'll come up. It'll come to me later on in the uh, later on in the, in the interview. And we've also talked a little bit about Lord of the Rings earlier in this interview, but I wanted to see if you could expand a little bit more on what's going on with Lord of the Rings, uh, and especially with this continuing build a figure of Sauron. Yes, series two and three should come out, um, I think, late summer and early fall. And once you have series two and three, which are Frodo with the Ringwraith and then Aragorn with the Mori Moria Orc, once you have those four figures then you'll and the first two, Legolas and Gimli, then you'll be able to build Sauron. And you just need six figures for that. Series four will be Gandalf and the uruk -hai. Um, not sure on the release date of those yet. Um, Deluxe Gollum figure will come out uh, sometime after that, which has the uh, climbing rock uh, rock formation, and it's going to come with a bunch of accessories um, that you can add on to characters you already have. So it's um, 
you'll get uh, some knives for Legolas and a dagger for Aragorn and an axe for a throwing axe for Gimli. So it's kind of a kind of a cool add-on accessory pack that also comes with uh, three heads for Gollum and uh, his big rock. Is there any news on PVC statues or any resin statues coming out of Lord of the Rings? Um, you know, we're we're looking at what we can do there. There's some, um, you know, a lot of what we would want to do. It's, um, you know, scale would make it very difficult. Um, but uh, we have not ruled it out as something to do um, as a, an add-on to the action figure line. Maybe not, you know, 100% in scale, but it's something that we've, we've definitely talked about. So how about Mortal Kombat now? That's also a really big franchise you guys have. And you've done some really amazing pieces. You guys have done Raiden so far. You did uh, Scorpion. You did Katana. Uh, is Mortal Kombat going to be continuing? Yes, uh, I believe it will. Katana came out. Um, Raiden, Raiden just came out not too long ago. And then um, we're still waiting on Scorpion to arrive. Um, but I believe we have other designs in development. And um, and hopefully we'll be showing something off uh, before the end of the year uh, as far as that goes. Um, but I'm not sure uh, who is next in the pipeline. Uh, we'll have to see. And we also know from quite some time ago, you guys mentioned you've got Buffy stuff coming out as well. Buffy the Vampire Slayer based on the TV series. Uh, is there any update on those products? Yes, Buffy and Angel, I believe, should both come out this summer. Um, again, uh, waiting on some uh, confirmation uh, of dates from uh, from the shipping companies. But uh, once we have them, um, uh, we'll see how they sell through. And we will see if that's something that we can do more characters from. Uh, and we're also looking at other product lines as well um, to go along with Buffy. We made some Vinny Mates. Uh, by our vinyl figures, and uh, we're looking at some other lines as well. And now I feel like I have to ask this. I think I'm obligated to ask this question because I know folks will kill me in the comments if I don't. Uh, but Star Trek, we guys know you still have some ships that were shown quite some time ago that haven't been released yet. Is there any update on the status of any of those ships or any other Star Trek merchandise? Um, I believe we are still uh, looking to revisit the ships and get them out to customers. We're doing everything we can to to make sure those get get finished up. Uh, the Enterprise C, I know a lot of people have asked me about. Um, and uh, we have already done, you know, one version of the C. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get to that C uh, pretty soon. Um, we'll keep everybody posted. I know it's obviously been a very long wait for, for people. Um, but, uh, you know, we want to release it as much as everybody else does. So um, hopefully we'll have some news for people um, later on this year. And I think last but certainly not least, uh, G.I. Joe and Transformers. You guys have already revealed some mini-mates and some of the G.I. Joe statues. Uh, what else can you tell us about upcoming plans for those two licenses? Um, we're going to do some more Legends in Three Dimensions busts, the half-scale uh, busts. We just uh, we did Storm Shadow, and now we've got uh, other characters upcoming. Um, I think we're still waiting to hear back on uh, approvals for one or both of them. Um, because there's at least two in development. And uh, I, as far as I know, we're doing more gallery dioramas. I don't think I've seen the newest designs yet, um, but hopefully we'll have some information about those in the very near future. Um, Cause we solicited Destro and the Destro variant and just Snake Eyes, I think last month. So we're waiting to, I think we are gonna we try to space them out and um, we'll probably wanna have Destro out before we offer the next one. All right, so I think that just about wraps up all the announcements. Am I missing anything, Zach, or have we covered all the bases here today? Gosh, I think that's everything. We've got some new Star Wars stuff coming out um, that is going to be solicited uh, this week, I think today. And uh, that includes um, a new jumbo of um, The Mandalorian, because uh, we have a shared exclusive right now of the first ma first appearance Mandalorian, the Big Bad Toy Store. But we're going to do a um, Beskar version for comic shops uh, and specialty retailers. We've also got a couple new pieces coming out. We've got a new um, bust of Blue Snaggletooth, which is going to have an exclusive a holiday variant for our web store. And we're going to do um, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi Episode 4, like classic old Obi-Wan Kenobi um, statue, a milestone statue, one six scale. And then we have a Rebels version of Darth Vader bust uh, that um, is going to be, um, with, there's going to be a massive version for everybody. And then there's going to be an alter, uh, interchangeable head version uh, that's exclusive to our web store. So um, you can get all those at GeneralGiantLimited.com uh, pre-order today. And uh, I, think, I think some of them you name, for the variant, you may need to be a, a guild member for some of them. So if you're not a guild member, you should check that out because that gives you access to a lot of exclusive, um, a lot of exclusive product as well as um, 
free gifts when you sign up, depending on the tier you sign up for. So you can actually get a, a bust included with your price of admission, which is which is a great deal. So um, definitely check out the Premier Guild if you don't already. So a lot of new stuff coming out from Diamond Select and Gentle Giant this year. And if folks want to go ahead and start checking things out, go follow him on social media. And don't forget to check out DiamondSelectToys.com and GentleGiantLimited.com, which is LTD.com. Uh, so, Zach, again, thank you so much for giving us the rundown of all the really cool stuff you guys have. It's a lot, man. That's a lot of stuff. I don't even know how you keep track of all this. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I think I only opened the document once or twice, so I'm sure I'm missing something. It's a lot. To, it's something different every day, uh, which is uh, one of the great things about my job. Um, being able, you know, I write the packaging text and I, uh, I, um, I write all the, the, the catalog text and it's just, um, it's a lot of fun, uh, writing about all this stuff and, uh, getting to see it all before it comes out, which is also a big thrill for me. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot to keep track of, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And Hey, you know, if you missed anything, that's an incentive for everybody to go follow Diamond Select on social media. So if you're not doing that already, go get on that folks. Uh, so, Zach, again, thank you so much for chatting with us today. And everybody else, stick around because we've got more SDCC 2021 coverage coming right up.